In today's video, we are discussing the brand new Ford Raptor. I'm pumped and excited about it. And we are talking about brand new tires, 37 inches. We are talking brand new interior, suspension, modifications, two new engines, and we are checking out my reaction video to that reveal. So all coming up, stay tuned. What is going on social media family? My name is Jorge Lopez and I am your sales consultant at Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas. I hope you guys are doing well and having a fantastic day. Excuse the noise, we got some construction going on, but man, I wanted to make this video because the brand new Raptor is headed our way summer of 2021. And I want to get you guys' reaction. What do you guys think? The comment section below is open. I want to hear your thoughts of these uh, two new engines that we've got, the modifications that Ford did, the accessories that you guys will be able to be adding to this vehicle. So what do you guys think? Without further ado, let's first of all, check out my reaction video to that review. Three, two, one. Let's check this out. Oh, that's a new color right there. New color. Okay, a little short film, kind of a thing. A little vibe going. Is that a Bible? Christian man, maybe? Of course, he has to grab his Ford. There you go. Oh yeah, baby, the Metallica song is up and running. Okay, changing your, your driving modes, Baja mode. Let's get after it music it's a 2021 Raptor available this summer holy smokes okay I would oh, same thing same thing that the other guys did but now we're spelling the R for Raptor okay ah oh, what a teaser what a teaser and there is no freaking announcement about engine what what, 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 what happened here? Is that video over? As you can see, my reaction was I was surprised, I was anxious, I was very excited and disappointed at the same time because I was expecting, you know, maybe both engines to be revealed at the same time. I, I knew that there's going to be two engines. I know there's going to be one. That's going to be a Raptor R and that's going to be having the, uh, the 5.2 a Predator engine that's going to be on the GT500. I think Ford would have just uh, maybe waited to reveal both of them. What do you guys think? You know, we have to take that as a sign that we're getting a Raptor for 2021. I am pumped. I'm excited because as you guys know, I sell a lot of Raptors since 2017 when my channel uh, basically started. And I've been helping a lot of you guys out there getting your Ford uh, Raptor without any markup or any MSRP adjustment. So if you guys are in the market for one, let me know, message me today so that we can put you in the list. And that way we can contact you to let you know when we can start ordering these. I understand that we've got, you know, two options of engines, right? You guys might agree or might disagree, but I think it's smart by Ford to have two engines available because that way we've got one that is a little bit more budget conscious uh more affordable uh, i say that very loosely because these trucks are becoming super expensive every single day but i do feel like that's a smart choice by ford by allowing us to have that 3.5 ecoboost engine and later down in 2022 this beast of a v8 is going to be coming to life so i think ford did good on that and i was reading the specifications that ford did on this new raptor that is coming out so i'd like to chat with you guys about this right now okay i wanted to run by you excuse me a couple of specifications and um got my cheat sheet here because i do not want to miss a single thing here that i think is important for you guys to know um, as you guys probably already know the raptor is going to be coming in a four-door configuration there's no more of the super cabs available the powertrain that's coming out is going to be the 3.5 ecoboost high output engine currently on the last uh, gen 
Raptor, it brought 450 horsepower. Man, this is windy. And 510 pound foot of torque. So I feel confident in saying that Ford is gonna up that a little bit, maybe hopefully getting closer to 500. We don't know, and maybe getting to 550 on the pound foot of torque, that would be ideal. So that would be a nice addition to it. And the V8 that's coming, the Predator engine for 2022, that one could go as much as 760, but I think Ford is going to down tune it a little bit uh, for truck purposes. So, hey, that is still um, up in the air. We are not 100% sure, but for sure that uh, V8 engine is coming. Uh, the recommended fuel is uh, premium. The oil capacity is six quarts. So I'm just reading a couple things that I think might be important for us to know. Now, this is uh, talking about some suspension stuff. We've got, you know, twice the compression control on these shocks. We've got a much thicker shock to withstand, you know, that punishment that a Raptor is gonna endure. We've got a nine zone tune to better the sensitivity and the ride of the truck. And we've got a bigger shaft to control, you know, all of that impact. Cause I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys are gonna have this uh, Raptor with four wheels up in the air for sure. So another phenomenal thing that is coming is the size of the tire. So the Ford Raptor will come with a 34 and a half ish inch tire. Ford is calling it a 35 inch tire, which most tire manufacturers actually call them a 35. But what I am most impressed with is the fact that we are going to have a 37 inch tire. Yes, from the factory we are having a 37 inch tire. Yes, and you can order it from the factory. And I've seen some pictures of that. That thing looks menacing. That thing looks out of this world, looks really, really good. So I feel like most of our Raptors are gonna have that 37, uh, 37 inch tire. Um, you've got three wheel choices. You've got um, two of them are gonna be beat lock capable. So if that's something that is uh, interesting to you, get yours ordered. Now we get to something that has been uh, controversial in the past, and that is the sound of the Ford Raptor. Uh, I don't know if you know, but you probably should know that the exhaust notes, the sound that you get on the current uh, 2020 Raptor and older are through the speaker. It's actually part of the sound that you hear from the speaker. And what Ford did is that they made an active valve exhaust that's just similar to the one of the GT500. They now designed it a little bit different. They've call it, they're calling it a trombone uh, design. This will allow for a more throatier, deeper tone sound that will be naturally made instead of made through the computer and through the speaker like they used to. So they've got a bigger exhaust, three inch, and it is gonna be an X-pipe exhaust. So that is new. And now can you imagine the sound of that V8 with that exhaust that is on this new Bronco? This Raptor, I'm bleeding Bronco all this time. This Raptor, I can't wait. So that is another change for the upcoming Ford Raptor. Now the towing, the towing is gonna be Right at 8,200 pounds is what I'm reading. And the payload capacity is increased to 1,400 pounds. This is 200 pounds each more than the last generation Ford Raptor. We will also have a uh, Pro Power on board, the 2.0 kilowatt hour Pro Power on board. So if you guys are gonna be overlanding, camping, you've got your generator in the back bed of the vehicle installed, you can power up all of your electronics and enjoy the outdoors. You will be able to do that on your next Ford Raptor. So now let's talk about the equipment group and some packages that you're gonna be getting then on this uh, Ford Raptor. Uh, back previous gen, we actually had three, right? If you guys remember, we had a equipment group 800, 801, and 802. So now for 2021 and beyond, we are only gonna have two. 
So equipment group 800 and 801. So now Ford is making it a lot easier because now they're bundling all of these features and options into the packages so that it's just making it a lot easier for you to know what you're getting and having a lot of you know excess options and equipment um, there's also some packages that are going to be available the raptor 37 performance package so this is the one that gives you the 37 inch tires blue accent interior with a code orange contrasting stitching you've got carbon fiber some uh, special graphics recaro seats and a different type of sport tuned next generation fox shocks so this is going to be a pretty fantastic package that's coming we got something called bundle package that gives you a 360 degree view camera your led fog lights uh, we've got some other packages like carbon and and tow technology so man i'm excited i'm pumped for the ford raptor and it's going to be easier for us to configure all of these because they've got some bundled packages together so what do you guys think are you excited about the ford raptor as i am comment below and let me know the stuff that i'm super excited about on the ford raptor it's just going to be that design you know the design i absolutely love the grill the hood that power dome hood that you know get out of my way hood with that functional air extractor and the side air extractor so just love the interior the over the air updates the technology that you're going to be getting ford did really step this up even though we still have the ecoboost engine we sold every single raptor without a problem whatsoever so i feel super confident that that is still going to be continuing we're not going to have any issues selling the 3.5 ecoboost because there is a market for that and yes i know you might be waiting for a v8 and that is definitely coming so don't hesitate to let me know if you are interested because i will sell it to you at msrp i'm not charging you over list price i can ship anywhere in the country so if you guys are interested in getting the 2021 ford raptor let me know if you want me to put you on my calling list to get a hold of you when the 22s arrive with that predator engine i would be more than happy to help you out it is uh my duty it is my job to be honest and transparent with all of my clients that's just how i've done it ever since i've been here i've been here for 21 years and it would be my pleasure to help you out so thank you so much for watching make sure that you sla uh, smash slash smash that uh, like button and that subscribe button hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and thank you so much for watching remember we got bronco we got maki we got all of these f-150s that we are going to def definitely going to be making a video all right we'll talk to you then have a blessed day bye-bye